Hello, I'm David Ingall, and I'm the rector or pastor of St. Sepulchre's. And as we've been producing Soul's Desire, our choir's new choral worship album, I wanted to share with you some reflections on worship that I've had, and particularly some of the ways in which I've found that choral music helps me to engage with God in worship. And the Bible has lots to say about worship. There's a whole book of the Bible which is full of the songs and worship of ancient Israel. In the book of Psalms, it may be one of your favourites, it is for many people. And there are actually three words in Hebrew that can be translated as worship, and another seven words that can be translated as praise. And all those things are little indications of how central and important worship is to our calling to live out and fulfil the greatest commandment, to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. I think that one of the most important elements in helping us to do that, though, is music. St. Augustine once said, the one who sings prays twice. And I think he was speaking of how music can help us to engage with God in worship on a deeper level than simply our minds and our thoughts. If you like, the music penetrates a little bit further and expresses our love for God in our hearts, our soul, and our strength, as well as our mind. But music isn't a monochrome thing. And one of the things that I've been exploring and discovering recently has been the ways in which different styles of music help us to worship in different ways. And particularly for me, I've been rediscovering listening to music and particularly choral music as a way of worshipping. I had the great privilege and joy of listening to our choir sing in our choral services every week. And I've realised that it transports me in my worship of God to a very different place to our more contemporary worship services in which I'm joining in and pouring out my heart through what I myself am singing. My experience and engagement with God through choral worship is much more contemplative, much more reflective. If you like, taking a step back and realising in new ways the, the beauty, the creativity and the greatness and the glory of God. As I listen to the rich tapestry that's being sung and woven in all its beauty and glorious musical complexity by our choir. And one of my hopes and prayers for this album is that it might help you to engage with God in fresh ways in your worship as well. And so before I go any further, let's listen to some. I mentioned earlier that in Hebrew there are three different words that can be translated worship. When I think of choral worship, I often think of the word yare. It's a word that appears hundreds of times in the Old Testament, and it's actually more normally translated as fear. It's uh, interwoven with one of the most important concepts of the Old Testament, the fear of the Lord. And in the context of worship, it's all about recognising and realising and acknowledging who God is, his greatness, his glory, and then just bringing ourselves and our hearts before him in reverence and awe. I think of that great psalm, a famous verse, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted amongst the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. And for me, choral worship helps me to do that, to be still, to be still in my heart and my soul and my mind 
and to know and to realize afresh that God is God. And that's not something which I usually find easy to do. And this madly busy activist world, somehow choral worship gives me space and simplicity. And then alongside that, I discover the beautiful complexity of the music. And I listen, and in my heart, I am still. I'm acknowledging that God is God. And I am exalting him. I am acknowledging him with reverence, with awe, with fear. And I hope that as you listen to our choir sing on this album, that will be something which you experience as well. That this choral worship will help you to be still and know that he is God.